Americans are more united over legal medical cannabis than gun control, immigration and healthcare reform, and taxes. Yet aside from Bernie Sanders, major party presidential candidates largely ignore the issue. According to a new Quinnipiac University poll, about 89% of Americans support legalizing medical cannabis, including about 94% of Democrats, 81% of Republicans, and 93% of independents. In contrast, about 55% of Americans want stricter gun laws, only 34% want decreased immigration, 58% want universal health care, and 57% want lower taxes, according to the most recent Gallup polling. The new Quinnipiac survey also found that about 54% of voters support full-blown cannabis legalization. This includes about 65% of Democrats, 36% of Republicans, and 61% of independents. Similarly, according to the latest Gallup poll, about 58% of Americans support legal cannabis. But despite weed's popularity, especially as a medicine, this year's presumptive Democratic and Republican nominees rarely discuss the plan, and when they do, the need for reform is minimized. On the Democratic side, Hillary Clinton supports reclassifying cannabis to a Schedule II drug alongside meth. She also wants more research done before federally legalizing weed. Conversely, the presumptive Republican nominee, Donald Trump, has yet to take a firm stance on cannabis reform. At an MSNBC town hall in March, Trump said he thinks he's basically pro-medical cannabis, but has heard some very negative reports coming from Colorado about recreational weed. Trump and Clinton's dismissal of the issue isn't just odd because legalization is more popular than other policies that are discussed at length. Medical and recreational cannabis legalization is also preferred over the candidates themselves. According to Real Clear Politics polling averages, Clinton only has a 37% national favorability rating, while Trump sits at a mere 34%. But regardless of what the presumptive nominees may think, cannabis isn't controversial to Americans. Their choices for president are. If anything, committing to cannabis reform will help the presidential hopeful's chances, not hurt them. It's time to listen to the majority of Americans who want to end federal pot prohibition for good.